the cost will, to take from Shenzhen to Zhuhai in the future will not be more expensive than taking a DD. For many of those from my generation, we grew up with movies and cartoons bringing to life some of our fantasies and notions of what our future may look like. A lot of this fiction-based storytelling revolved around technology, with a flying car or flying taxi, something we all dreamt of witnessing. Now, without diving into the detailed history of aviation or transport, I want to take a look at arguably one of the latest forms of transport that's making waves around the world. It's one that hasn't truly come to fruition in terms of commercialization, but it's nearly there and has massive potential for the consumer, relevant industries, and the economy. Electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, yeah, it's a mouthful, but luckily we can call it an eVTOL, and perhaps we'd better get used to hearing about it. To get a glimpse of what future travel could look like, I traveled to Shenzhen, a city that's building 600 landing and takeoff stations for low altitude aircraft. It's a process that should be completed by next year. But my visit wasn't purely about the low altitude economy's infrastructure, it was actually for a historic moment set to take place. Chinese aviation firm Autoflight was making their maiden flight from Shenzhen to Zhuhai, a cross city and cross sea journey, a global first. Despite not being able to get on board, I managed to get a front row seat and check out some of the eVTOLs before takeoff. Well, it's pretty incredible being seated here in an eVTOL, that's an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. And the future of transport, especially here in South China, uh, seems to be extremely bright today. A special day, not only for auto flight, but the entire low altitude industry. You can just imagine a few years uh, what this could possibly transform into, be it municipal travel or regional travel, that's gonna be extremely accessible. And luckily for us, we can avoid some of the congested roads, avoid traffic, and of course, travel with the environment in mind. I catch up with Kellen Xie, the company's senior VP who I met late last year at the Zhuhai Air Show. It's both a busy and exciting day for him. But I want to know, what can this low altitude industry bring to the economy? Late last year, there's a research institute in Shenzhen called IDEA. Yeah, I, I can't remember the Chinese name, but they released a white paper about the low altitude economy, which includes drones and eVTOLs. Yes. And they estimate by next year, the value that it could contribute to the Chinese economy, I believe is 500 billion US dollars. Yeah. How do you look at that? What are the opportunities that, that can play a role in this industry? Oh, the 500 billion is only a start, it's only a start. So. I did actually publish the, this uh, white paper, actually counting what we have currently, you know, like the drone photography, like the small drone cargoes, yeah. and then etc. But they haven't really been sort of, you know, calculating the much bigger potential that if, you know, the human transportation becomes available by taking this uh, big eVTOL aircrafts, and, and the, the total size of the market will become much, much bigger, much, much bigger than 500 billion. Yeah. And the support for this industry and market is quite tangible. Just last year, 16 provinces included the low altitude economy and other relevant industries in their government work reports. That's rather significant. The city of Guangzhou, for example, which is not too far from Shenzhen, even introduced a subsidy of up to 4.2 million US dollars for eligible projects. This is all in line with development guidelines released last year that will push China to advance green aviation. But when will the images and fantasy tales of my childhood cartoons become a reality? I think it will happen much sooner than we think. So right now, we are looking forward to actually receive our passenger type certification in 2026. Okay. So right after that, you know, from this year, 2024 to 2026, we will have many trial flights and many trial routes. And this is the actual first ever route, actual air routes in human history. And then it will actually educate uh, the general public, then let them witness this new type of aircraft flying and until it becomes very normal, until it becomes very like daily work. And so the, 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 the general public will be very confident to actually board on this new aircraft. I think it will happen in 2026 or even not long after that. Keep in mind that Autoflight aren't the only eVTOL player in the Chinese market. There's a handful of other competitors. And much of this pursuit of innovation is China looking to tackle economic hurdles and find new engines of growth. So for the low altitude economy, the money's there, the infrastructure is well on its way, and the tech, 
Well, it's already in the sky. Two years is not that far away. Time flies, no pun intended. But just knowing that in the not so distant future there'll be yet another layer and option for travel and commuting at an affordable price should make many of us eager to take to the skies.